Venus flytraps are carnivorous plants found in the Carolina wetlands of the eastern United States. They use their leaves as traps to catch prey, usually small insects or spiders. Each leaf is composed of two symmetrical lobes with a pair of three tiny sensitive trigger hairs on the inner surface. When an animal touches one of these hairs, initially nothing happens. But if the hair is touched again within 30 seconds, the lobes quickly close to entrap the animal. But how do they close their lobes when they don't have any muscle? The lobes have two distinct layers connected by a large number of aquaporins, pores in cell's membrane that allow water to flow from one cell to another. In the flytrap's open state, the aquaporins are closed and the cells in the inner layer are swollen with water, while the cells in the outer layer contain minimal water and are collapsed. The large amount of water in the inner cell layer creates elastic turgor on the cells, similar to the tension on a balloon when it's blown up. When triggered by the second touch, the aquaporins open, allowing water to rush between the two cell layers. Cells in the inner layer rapidly lose water, releasing elastic energy causing them to shrink, while the cells in the outer layer take up this water and expand. This rapid shift of water quickly changes the shape of the lobes, from convex to concave, enabling the plant to close and trap within half a second. Once the prey has been digested, the water concentration in the two cell layers returns to normal, opening the lobes and allowing the flytrap to strike again.